What's up YouTube, welcome back to Whacked Out eSig. Today we have an interesting review for you. It's not exactly e-liquid and it's not exactly hardware. It's from a company called Nikki Test. Okay, so what I have to show you guys is a nicotine test solution kit. And basically what it does is clarifies how much nicotine solution is actually in your e-liquid. So if it says six, eight, 12, three, whatever it says, you can go through this test and find out what the actual amount of nicotine in it is. So what we'll do is we'll go up close and I will go through the test with you guys just to show you what to do. Um, some things to look out for and we will find out the end result and see how accurate this thing is. Okay, step one is very simple. Put on your gloves, put on your mask. Step two, clean your mug thoroughly by swishing distilled water throughout. And I don't have a mug that I'll be using, but I have a empty bottle that has never been used and I clean that out. So that's what I'll be using. Step three is where we start the test and I will be using some juicy peach uh, from Flavor Crafters and it's supposed to be eight milligrams. So we're gonna find out if it's actually eight, eight milligrams. Uh, this is a very clear liquid. I chose that specifically. Um, colored liquids apparently can produce accurate results, but I just think it'll be a lot easier to show you with a clear e-liquid, so I went with that. So step three, using a syringe measure exactly one mil, two mil, or three mil of e-liquid. Don't use the needle tip when drawing in the e-liquid. It says if you've never used a syringe and needle before, YouTube it, <laughs> and then it gives a general breakdown of how to use a, a syringe. Now. It says that it's not going to be able to draw the liquid through the syringe, but given this, this bottle that I have that I'm using it with, I don't really want to have to take off the back of this syringe tip, put my thumb over it, and um, I guess I could. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out the top. and then just pour it in the back of it. So I'm gonna measure three mils because you can do one mil or two mil, but three mil will produce the most accurate results. So that's what I'm aiming for. And that is three mils of liquid. Place it in my bottle. And step four is transfer e-liquid from syringe into the clean and dry mug. So that's what I'm going to do. Now the tip of this needle is, <laughs> I probably should have taken it off before I, I did this because it is very thin and the e-liquid has some trouble getting through it, but I'm managing so it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. But just keep in mind, it will take a little more effort. I'm just gonna squeeze it and squeeze it just to get out any excess liquid. Okay, so step three complete and step four. Step five is measure 10 milliliters of um, distilled water and add to the mug. Then it says, out of all the measurements we have to do in this test, this is the least important um, for accuracy. And it says, just make sure it's above 10 mils but below 15 mils. And so I have it at 11. So I just, yeah, it's within. now. This syringe did not come with the kit, so if you want to do this with, uh, neither did the distilled water, so you're going to have to get both of those, or you can use these smaller ones to measure 10 mils, it's just going to take a lot longer, and I just wanted to save some time. So, 
we're going to add Okay, let's just mix them a bit together. Step six, add five to eight drops of pH indicator and swirl swish around until the contents in the mug turn blue. Easy enough. Here's the pH indicator, it says it on it, so it's very easy to find. Um, this, is, this is safe to use, this pH indicator, but it does stain. So just be careful where you drop it and you, you don't want to inhale it either. So you can see it turns blue. We're just going to add two, three, four, five, six. Six should do it. Place that back and just swish this around. Okay. Step seven, eight, and nine are all about adding this acidic solution. And step seven, it says, slowly add acidic solution to the mug um, periodically until it turns green. So we're tilting it and taking, we need exactly three milliliters. And that is three milliliters. Close the cap. There we have three mils. So we're just going to add a little bit. Swish it around. Add a little bit more. And we're just slowly doing this until it turns green. So it should be turning green at some point. Yeah, it's getting it's getting a green tinge. Okay, now I would say you may not be able to see that on camera. I'll just add a tiny bit more maybe. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that's a lot greener than it was in the blue. So, I think I'll stop there. It's it's at green. So I still have some left. Step eight, continue the above step, adding the acidic solution until it turns from green to green with a yellow tint. So we're just gonna keep doing this. Adding it, tilting. There we go, green with a yellow tint. And it kind of looks just yellow on camera, but it is green with a yellow tint. And then slow it down a lot, add one drop at a time until it turns yellow, fully yellow. So one drop at a time. I'll see if I can do this on camera. Still greenish. Okay, it's getting there. I'd say a couple more drops might do it. Yep, I'd say that's that's just about yellow. Maybe one more drop. Okay. We have achieved yellow as far as I am concerned. Now it says, take note of how much acid is left in the syringe. And I don't know if you can make that out, but I will read it. And it seems to be, uh, it's one and a half. So one and a half millimeters, milliliters is left. And it says, subtract that number from the starting amount of acid originally placed in the syringe. It should be three millimeters, which it was, three milliliters, sorry. Um, so the original that I had was three milliliters and I'm ended up with 1.5 milliliters. So three mil minus 1.5, we get 1.5.
Next, um, I'm just going to rest that down because I'm not sure if I'm going to need any more of it yet. Next, you need to multiply the acidic solution used by a pre-allocated number. Okay, so I have the calculator on my phone here. And if it says if you use one mil of e-liquid, multiply by multiply the acidic solution used. So in this case it's 1.5 by 19.47. If you use two mils, multiply by 9.735. If you use three, multiply by 6.49. It's it's very simple. Yeah, it says in our example, we'll say we use three mil of e-liquid and ended up using 1.2. So it says 1.2 times 6.49. Okay, so I'm going to do 1.5, which is what I ended up with, multiplied by 6.49. I get 9.735. And it says, this leaves us with a nicotine strength of 7.88 for their example, but for mine, I got 9.735. says, do not vape that, that stuff. Be careful handling that bottle of e-liquid as well. This concludes the test. It may take a couple times doing the test, but you'll get the hang of it. Good luck, vape safe, and geek out. Okay, awesome. So, this is supposed to be 8 milligrams, and I got, what was it, 9.7 something. So, what I'm just going to test something here. I'm going to add a little more acidic solution until it's very, very yellow. I'm just going to see how much effect that has. Okay, so now that is a lot more yellow, and I'm left with 1.2. Okay, so I don't even need to work that out because it's the same example they used in um, in the paper, but 1. Point, oh, sorry. Okay, this is hard with these gloves. <laughs> 1.2 times 6.49, 7.788, which is pretty much 8 milligrams. So, 8 or, I mean, 7.7 .7 or 9.7, whatever it was, I mean, I'm going to go somewhere in between that, which works out to 8 milligrams. So, flavor crafters, you're doing something right. And... You know this is this may take you a couple times to to really get right but there are only a few things you need to to get it done and it's pretty simple that concludes the test let's go back out and talk about it a bit more so as you saw in the up close it's a pretty accurate uh, test and it's very simple to use once you've done it one or once or even twice you you really get the hang of it and it's pretty simple to to put together and get the result you want um, I really didn't have that many problems with it just once I realized that I need to read the instructions and fully understand it at first um, you can really get into it I mean they give you the the gloves the mask for your safety um, they give you the syringes with the needle tips which is great they are um, the needle tips are not blunt tip they are very sharp so you're gonna have to be careful with that don't stab yourself um, you get the pH solution and you get the acidic solution. The only thing I didn't get was the distilled water, but for most people that's pretty easy to find and a lot of people already have it in their homes. So this um, this kit isn't for everyone, for sure. It's, uh, it's definitely for people who are either really interested in the in the accuracy of certain companies putting out e-liquids or people who are making their own and want to make sure they're doing it correctly. Um, it, you don't have to be an advanced vapor or anything to do it. It's really simple. Anyone with two hands and a calculator can do it pretty much. Um, 
As far as the price, I'm not sure exactly, I'm sorry, how much it costs, but it can't be that much. I'm gonna guess around 20 bucks. That's probably how much I would pay for, for this test. And that's, that's not a bad price, especially if you're actually interested in it and you, you want to you you want to do this test um, 20 bucks isn't bad in my personal opinion you can find Nikki test in a variety of places within Canada I will put the link in the description for a couple different places that you can find it and if you've tried this Nikki test before leave a comment and tell me a bit about your experience if you haven't used Nikki test and you've used a different kit that you found uh, let me know about that as well um, yeah I just wanted to bring you guys this um, this kit because it's different you know that this isn't your your standard thing that you'd normally hear about but it's, it's definitely interesting and it definitely uh, promotes the the safety of uh, making e-liquids and um, guaranteeing you're getting what is advertised the the liquid I use the flavor crafters liquid I know they're they're a pretty credible company already um, so yeah, it, it was good that it came out about accurate and let me hear your experiences. If you have any popular liquids that you want me to test out, um, if I have them, I have a few different companies, um, I, I'll, I'll test them out and tell you about it in another video and see. If you like this kit and the review, please like the video, uh, share the video as well. If you if you want other people to know about it, if you have a friend that makes their own e-liquid or is concerned about the the strength of nicotine in different liquids, let them know about this so they can they can maybe try it out and subscribe to the channel because I told you I'd be bringing more cool concepts um, like the custom e-juice and stuff like that. So this is just another one of those cool things I thought you guys should know about. So subscribe to see a lot more. If you have any more questions about this kit, um, anything that you thought I may have left out, you can always leave a comment and ask me and I'll try and get back to you with the answer if I have the answer. If not, head over to Wacto eSig and you can contact um, Nikki Test personally. They're an active member on the forum and you can find out a lot more information there and not just Nikki Test. You can find out about a lot of other Canadian vendors that do different things. You can get a good amount of deals and coupons on there. You can buy old hardware, new hardware um, from different people selling because there's a kind of marketplace type thing on there and get some help or help other people in the vaping community. The next thing I'll be reviewing is this cotton bacon which is some interesting stuff. Um, as you can see here, I have a shitload of this stuff. So I will be giving away some of this in the next video. So stay tuned for that if you want to try out some cotton bacon. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.